Hi there and welcome to my noob's guide to Dark Souls 3. This is, well the Dark Souls series is known for being quite difficult so I thought I'd do a guide for noobs, give you a few tips on um, things that'll make your life seriously much easier. Uh, first off you start off here, you are basically a zombie, you just crawled out of that grave over there. I've chosen, um, they've got a few presets for your characters um, depending on your playstyle. I've chosen the mercenary who um, is, is quite good for quick attacks and um, can dual wield later on. Uh, a good character for noobs to start with is probably the knight who has a good attack and good defense, starts with a, a decent range of equipment, good armor, um, good to start with. So um, I just, I just kind of like the mercenary more, just for coolness value. Um, now these things on the ground are messages put there by developers. Um, this is the tutorial stage, so these are tutorial messages. Later on, they will be, um, anyone can put them on the ground. So they could be from other players who are basically just trying to screw you over. So be aware in later areas that they may be helpful or they may just be someone trying to screw you over. And people upvote them. So if it's a helpful one, then perhaps someone, they've got a lot of upvotes on it as opposed to um, no votes at all. So you've got your general, you got two thumbs, two thumbsticks. Now I'm using the controller, which is probably best for this game. I don't know very many people who wouldn't. Um, so you've got right bumper is light attack, uh, right trigger is heavy attack, left bumper is block, and right bumper, uh, sorry, left trigger is your parry. Uh, if you push down on the right thumbstick, it locks on the nearest enemy. It will lock on him. And what you want to do is you usually run around with your shield out. So you, when you block your attack, like so. And now each successful block drains your stamina, which is the green bar at the top. So these guys are fairly easy. So you just kind of, what, what you generally want to do is just circle around behind them um, and just try and hit them from behind. Now just also be aware that large enemies quite often will be able to break through your block. So this guy we should be able to just get up behind him and if you get directly behind them and you get it in the right spot you can do a which I missed. You can do a backstab which does massive amounts of damage. Now this guy's an archer which archers can really dick you over. Uh, I don't think I can block, all, well, my shield can't block all the damage anyway, it just blocks most of it, so that's also something to be aware of. Um, so it's always, a, you know, that's clearly the correct way to go, but it's always a good idea to explore and keep your shield out, because, you know, as you're coming up here, this game likes to hide someone there who's just basically spent his entire life waiting to screw you over. Now, so this is a bloodstain showing someone died, and you can sort of look, he's a pyromancer, you can tell by his axe and the cloak he's wearing, and he just got killed by a basic enemy. So that's some other player who just got screwed over there. So just be aware, even though they are basic enemies, people do still get killed by them. Roll, B, B buttons to roll away, so that is, and you can just keep rolling. And it uses up stamina, so don't try and roll a whole heap and then not my backstab, and then block because you will get staggered and you will get screwed over. I don't want to go there yet. Um, so these ones are fairly, fairly easy. This is another blood stain. So uh, it might be that same guy. I don't know what he's fighting, but he's getting royally screwed over by them. So this is a little secret area. Oh. So you can just touch the blood stain and you'll see the people. That's a knight. And you basically see how they died. This is pretty cool. Um, so we'll just go into this area. Oh, uh, here's my souls from where I died. There's a lot of blood stains here. That should tell you something. Lock on to it, you homo. Right. So this is this is a big thing. Then, if you get hit, you want to get out of the way and push X do what they call an Estus, which is to heal yourself. Now, if you're up against something like this, which you, I mean, quite honestly, you're not going to block that, you can push Y, 
and you go two-handed. Which does more damage. Okay, I got... Oh, we got stuck. I need an Estus. Some health back. I don't have any Estus left. You don't want to try and overextend. You want to sort of get in there when you can. Get a few hits in. I missed. That was a complete whiff. Out. That was bad. Oh, he missed. Good. Oh. Okay, one more hit and I'm done for. Oh, I staggered him. That was lucky. I don't think you could stagger this guy. health. I didn't have any stamina, so I couldn't roll. So, my number one tip for noobs who are looking at Dark Souls is play Dynasty Warriors. Don't play Dark Souls. Just don't even start. If you're a noob, or a games journalist, because games journalist got like a preview copy of this game, which was the difficulty had been dialed back a little bit, so it was easier, and they were complaining it was too hard. Don't even bother. People who play Dark Souls are tough as nails. They want a challenge. They want things to be hard. They want to die over and over again. And they will learn. They will get better. They will come up with strategies. They will come up with methods. They will come up with ways in which they can overcome and beat it. They love a challenge. They like things to be hard. If you're a noob, stay away. Don't go near it. That is my tip for the day. Have a good day.